silly stuff, I swear. They have released the dog. I'm Lil Rick the Gamer, do it 100% Gamer, bro. Yeah. No one else will go hard, I will do it for the damage. Yeah. Can't maintain, contain my flow, I need to play a game for sure. Maybe yeah. RTS, yeah. RPG, or maybe even yeah. MMM. Yeah. Howdy, howdy, and welcome back to another episode of First Impressions. Now, I need you to hit those like and subscribe buttons as we be posting that content, people. Check me out. Check me out. You know, I might have a game that y'all like. Might have something that y'all want to check out, so you might as well hit that subscribe button if you new here and turn those notifications on so you don't miss a beat when we get into these new games as they release. All right, so we're playing Exos heroes just released and everything pretty nice looking game i mean visually as for gotchas on the 3d side i have to say i have to compare it to other 3d ones that this right here kind of takes the cake like so far the best one i have seen this year just visually animations are amazed i'm about to like th roll through a battle so you can see how amazed these animations are for a while it kind of took me a minute to figure out like how to like just do random battles but you kind of got to like play through the story missions over again so you still kind of go through the story sequences is she in a bright outfit yes she is in the bright outfit um didn't know i had that but like you kind of just kind of just see a little bit of the battle and everything we do got it on the auto battle play but it takes forever for you to get into auto battle play but look at that man she summon a little thing put the hands on them real quick man that's what i'm talking about like these animations are really nice like this is pretty good for how vivid the animations are like i'm not gonna say like it's on a whole nother level but it's on a whole nother level it's just because I'm on a whole nother level Hating because I'm on a whole other level, yeah. Like, man, this guy ain't pr pretty nice, nice looking. It's nice looking. Like, I think it's cool. I will stop it and do, like, the manual play so you can kind of see, like, how the actual fights and everything work. But you figure that stuff out when you start playing. Because, like, they give you, like, a shit ton of tutorial stuff anyway. I mean, I mean not full-on tutorial, but they... They do like explain some stuff to you like yo you do this in battle you do that and you kind of like forced to do it because it takes a while before you can even get the auto battle play. you like gotta do the whole first chapter before you even able to get into auto battle which kind of sucks i like it. you give me like the first two maybe three fights in the game trying to show me some mechanics and then give me my auto battle i hate when i have to like wait to get auto battle it sucks donkey balls it, it, it takes some points off off of how good your game is for that so we're gonna scratch that off auto battle take too damn long to get to but i mean look at it though I'm, Come on, you can't say you can't say that's not nice though. You can't say that's not nice. So, you know, here just the squad and everything. It is a bit of like a reroll system that they did. I guess I fucked that up, but y'all know I ain't really into all that reroll type shit anyway. There, there is a tier list that was made as well. I guess I'll leave that in the description box below you know for your people that kind of want to like you know see what the tier list is all about so you can get a good grasp of who to look for and everything i think the character that i had went for in my 10 pool which is an infinite role which i'm liking that man more games in 2020 giving us infinite roles like uh i think she was like an a plus on that list or some shit like that she waifu she healer mint so i went for it like uh hmm. all right so we just skipped this this looks like the end of you. So if you like want to actually read the story, you can go back and play the missions over and actually read the story if you if you didn't read it as you were going through like the first time through. So you kind of got that as an option. So let's go on to some of the other stuff that this game has to offer. So they do got this game mode called Exploration. I guess you have one that you can do for when you're offline. So it, you have 
So once you go AFK, you can get like some materials and stuff, all kind of like goodies and everything that you can have. So when you log back on, you can power up, level up, get some good stuff. So I'm just going to click, do a random little exploration. They kind of walk around on the map. I think that's pretty cool, though. They walk around on the map. They go through some things. You get some items when they find some stuff. And you can get into some random battles while you're doing exploration as well. So you can stop it at any time. And then your characters get experience while you're doing exploration. So you have the, the opportunity to level up while we're doing that. Let's see if we can put some gear on somebody. Can we auto equip? Yep. Let's get it. All right, so we got that done. I guess we can click that out. <clears throat> so they just walk around and do their thing. While you do that, and you just look down here, and you can just see the experience bars go up for the team at, I guess, random intervals. Don't look like they getting much on experience at the moment. Like, But when we started the exploration, they was getting a little bit of experience. So they kind of do their thing. And here we get into a battle in this exploration. You can see some more of that action. See the team get it in. Put them hands on them. That dude lost like half of his health bar in one shot in one hit. And then you got, then you got this like the sound effects, the voices and everything. This is one game. Like the voice acting is actually pretty good. Like they gave me the option to choose between if I wanted like English, Korean, or Japanese. Like generally, you like either you either like forced to have one language in particular, or they give you the option. Like, do you want to listen to Korean or do you want to listen to Japanese? I'm like, all right, you know that's kind of cool. But having the option to go English, I was like, it couldn't be that bad. I mean, the voice acting couldn't be as bad as like Dragon Raja or something. So. Hydra's ultimate weapon? How could we come across a cross it here? If Eddie and Senpai were here, they'd be real excited, but right now it's only you and me, and she wants us to wait for her. Hey, how about we just leave her here and run for our lives? But would it work? Oh man. We'll have to face her then? Let's go see what she wants us to do. Figure like Ah, uh, check it out. See what it's like, see what the English voice like and it's like and I mean like it's actually pretty good. I thought it was going to be horrible, but it's not. The carrier. We cannot get into the airship. It won't open, no matter how hard we try. What? What should we do? Hold on. You. What is that tiny necklace you're carrying? Oh, this? It's not a permit, but it will show you I am the owner of this airship. Here, look. Well, if I concentrate after putting it here. Phew, it actually worked. There, you see. Oh, that is an interesting airship, my friend. Uh, <laughs> thanks for that, you fool. Oi, get him! Huh? How Dare you touch Hutch the V Count dead shit! You're under arrest for the attempted theft of the property of a noble. You're really doing this? Okay, will you come at me all at once or one by one? I've chosen the power of a Securian, loyal servant to the V Count. You yeah, see what I mean? The voice acting not too, not too bad. Not the head worse. I know after the first couple of missions, I was like completely confused I didn't know where the heck I was going there was a point where I spent like five minutes walking around this town after doing a mission trying to figure out where the hell do I even go like what the hell do I even do I'm just like walking around and moving through towns and everything like it gets confusing like I get it y'all want to have like this open world and it's kind of something be like an MMO but if you're going to be an MMO be an MMO don't be a gotcha because this is not what gotchas do this is not what they do stop it it's irritating as hell because they got you walk around this map and everything. And I'm like, that's cool. But I don't want to do that. The reason why I play these kind of games is because it, I'm pretty much AFK for the most part. I really don't have to do a lot. And I mean, it's not 
that bad that you walk around, but it is a bit of a chore that I gotta walk around and go to like my mission or anything or something like that. But I think you can just like click on this little thing up here and then it'll just take you directly to the mission that you need to go to. It, I think I figured that out during this recording because I was trying to find the little missions tab. So when you do click on here, you can go back to like prior prior uh missions that you have completed and some that you haven't so you can go back and get your reward some of them i haven't like three stars so i can always go back and do those for each chapter because that's a thing so let's go back to our airship all right i was spending a lot of time trying to figure out like does this game have like a lot of stuff to offer because i really don't I really don't know. I didn't really see a lot of like extra game mechanics or anything like that. I was going through progressing through the story because this is one of those games that has a lot of story. So if you're not really into like the story and everything, even though you can skip, you're still going to be put into a position where there is a lot of story. So you'll be skipping quite often. But this game has like it's mostly about the story and the characters, their relationships and how they evolve and all of that stuff. More so than the actual gameplay itself, at least so far, that's what it seems like maybe i'm not at the point where it's more gameplay than storyline but so far it's just a lot of storyline so we'll click on this little alliance thing i don't think we joined one yet but we oh or have we we might be in an alliance i know i requested to to uh to be in one i don't know this, a lot of this stuff is confusing because it doesn't really it doesn't really give you like a good explanation of what's what kind of in this game i've never been this confused in a gotcha before honestly honestly i've never been confused but one thing that is a great piece of quality of life is this receive all button you can do it for everything we can go in here and collect this stuff that's in here as well and you got all these things but we can just boom collect everything and it gives us all our goodies i'm like that is great more games need to do that there's still games that coming out in 2020 that don't give you this button and it's like no your game need to be especially once you hit global once you hit a global release you need to be having a receive all button like if you're doing a soft launch i get it you just want to test out some other mechanics or just kind of get your game out there so people can kind of see what it looks like but once you once you once you get to a, the global point of it you definitely want to have that receive all but and i just unlocked this thing called exchange where you take these little dust that you get that i don't have any or you have like different little tokens and stuff and they get to buy various items kind of like a shop it's just you use stuff that isn't your gold then you got different these different things at the bottom where you can go to kind of stuff i think i'm still not quite sure of everything here this little section you kind of have some of the characters that's that's in there and i guess you get like costumes and stuff too for the characters and everything so you can like check out like different version different like little costume versions or whatever and stuff like that that I'm not quite sure what the uh, the fake core is all together yet, but so far that's what I've that's what I've seen. That is something involving costumes and stuff like that. Damn airship forge! Check out that. I don't think I clicked on this honestly. I do not think I clicked on this. See, yeah, it's stuff. It's a lot of things that cost this currency, and I wanted to say that because I wanted to do some. Uh, some uh, some summons and i can and I'll, i only have enough pretty much for 10 pool so i wanted to say that so i didn't do any of the other stuff and i was like i wasn't quite sure if i was going to touch any of that stuff so once we do our little summons we can get all of that right there's not too much more that i could share with the game because i'm not sure if i have because it doesn't show you if things aren't unlocked or not you know a lot of games nowadays they give you all this list of stuff you got to be this level got to have this completed got to have that and it's like bam you get to do this content this game it doesn't show you anything so i don't really know what to say uh, say about that so we're gonna round this up with some summons see what we can get on a temple hopefully we get 
something pretty cool and new so we can start replacing some of these uh, starter heroes that we have. And hopefully get us some nut. Let's check it out. Get us some good stuff. Look at that information. Look at that booty. Look at that booty. Look at that booty. On, oh girl, I swear. A little walk on her and everything. Doing my hips. Man, they make they they definitely make them really curvy in this game. It's a pretty cool summon animation though. I'll tap the screen. Yeah, hopefully we get something good. We we'll know though, you we'll know, cause the screen will glitch out if we pull like a five star. Nope. Okay, is this gonna do this every time? Yeah, I guess it is. We wanna, we wanna know if we get something good though, so we gotta wait and see if we get like a really good animation. Screen. But if not, I don't know, because I, I never did this kind of summons. I don't know if these summons are actually good or not. All I know is like that first temple, so. Because it doesn't look anything like that first temple that they give you, so. Because it's supposed to like go past the first dude, then to the next dude, and everything. I mean, they summon in twos and three stars. I mean, I, I'm not sure. Maybe it give me a, a four star, maybe a five. I don't know. We see. We got ten of them. So what else? What else? What else we got? I probably just skip just to see just to see what happens. Skip this time. So is this the good one? There we go. Four star. It didn't glitch. <laughs> Four star. It seems my obligations are prolonged. Uh, unless we got a four star. Ugly mofo. Yeah. What does he do? Look like a tank. They share an ally lowest maximum health and he knows the health by thirty percent of the car current. Again, that's his passive. This one just does damage. Damage back rows. All right, he's nothing special. That is all we have time for. I'm about to hate editing this damn video because everything went wrong, but you guys don't care about that. So, if you did enjoy, make sure you smash that like button. If you didn't, there is a button for you guys as well. Link to our Discord where we talk about the games we play will be in the description box below as well as the pin comment below. If you do here, don't forget to subscribe and turn those post notifications on so you can be the first to see my content when it goes live, people. Check out my Patreon if you want to become a patron and help you know the platform grow and become strong and all of that good stuff but until then this is your host gamer dude 2088 signing out saying i love you all don't believe everything you're hearing in the mainstream media we are cute and i'm out deuces